G'day guys, <laughs> welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I am gonna go again with my attempt at a drip tray. Um, the first time I did it, if you remember, I, I left the foil to get that crackly look in the tray. <laughs> oh, silly me, I couldn't get it out. Um, and then the second one, oh, I left too long. I thought an hour and three quarters would be fine before I folded it over, but it kind of got hot really quickly. So two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna go red, orange, yellow on the outside and have that kind of flame kind of look. This is Crimson um, Alcohol Ink by Ranger. I think I'm gonna need more than that then. Um, I wanted to go all with octopus inks, but I haven't got a dark red. So this is Carrot. I will have to put more in though. Shall I just do a squirt? And then we have sunlight. So half a cup of that, three quarters of a cup of that, and a cup of that. Now this is my 40 centimeter, <laughs> 40 centimeter instant mold. If you haven't seen that before, it's just a silicone ring and it's it sticks down that's stuck down to my piece of plastic it's just a plastic bag that i've cut up this one isn't going as red red as i would like it to go might have to go and find another red unless it just needs more maybe maybe might have to go to the let's resin ink so quite concentrated for the dark red. Again, I don't want them too, too like opaque looking. I want them to look like glass. So I don't want to make them too, too dark. And you know, it looks dark in the cup because it's very deep. But when I, I'm hoping when I pour them out, it's not going to look that dark. I think that one's good. I'm gonna go and see if I can get another red though. Careful I don't overflow this one. It's really full. So what do you think of that idea? Like a um, flame, flame colours. And then, you know, with the drips, hopefully, hopefully, cross fingers, <laughs> that I can actually drip this time and it'll look like flames. <laughs> That's my thoughts anyway. I have these thoughts, but sometimes they don't work, which is okay because it's how you learn. It's how you learn. All right, I think that's enough yellow, but I am gonna go and see if I can find a darker red. Look, I'm not gonna put you on pause. Just wait there one sec, and I'll go and find it. Um, red, red, red. Purple, purple. Red, here we go. That's resin red. That's resin is I think it's much more concentrated. So that's the red, red. Let's see if that works. You can see the difference already, hopefully. Yeah, look at that. It's just, yeah, it's it's just a more concentrated red. So that that's fine. This is very glary, isn't it? This is <laughs> yellow, it looks fluorescent in here. Oh gosh. All right. Um, I mixed up, um, I did seven, that three cups, 750 grams or mils, whichever way you want to do it. What? Let's do this. Oh, nervous. Spilled a bit. All right, so the first thing, oh gosh, I've pushed it down. Hopefully it'll stick. It's not going to leak because that would be just awful. Now let's put a little bit of yellow around the outside first then I make sure I've got the yellow on the outside oops cups are in my way <laughs> it does look very fluorescent doesn't it it's not it's not <laughs> all right so that's the outside ring so yeah three cups um, might be a little bit too much. I don't want it. To... See, the thing is, when you're doing a drip tray or bowl, the 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 resin's going to stretch out. So initially, if it was you know this thick, it's going to stretch, and then because it's stretching, 
um, it's going to get thinner. So that's my reasoning on making it probably a little bit thicker than what it needs to be. Right, now this one, I'm just going to pour this into the middle and I'm going to kind of do like a, see if it works, kind of like a puddle pour. And hopefully this yellow will go out, but blend nicely because I don't want to see like each colour, the beginning of each colour. I'd, I'd rather them blend. So we'll just see if it will do that. I don't know if it will. So here's the next colour, the orange. And I'm hoping that'll kind of push the yellow out. Yep. It kind of did. <laughs> oh, it kind of did. But it blended as well. Whoops, I've got a bit of unmixed colour there. And then the red, I'll just put into the middle and hopefully that will then push the orange out as well. And that's my reasoning. Actually, I should scrape the sides. See, see on the sides there? See, I've got some unmixed ink on the sides there. So I'll just dip my finger in the back there. Okay, so that's that's it. I'm not going to scrape that out. Um, but oops, I've got a bit of a, a ripple happening there. Look, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave that. Um, I know you can sort of see the three different colours, but that's okay. I wasn't sure if I should like stick my plastic down or so I can't lift it up now obviously I can't lift the, the ring up now so if there's I was gonna stick it down and then see I've done that before I've stuck it down and then um, it got all these ripples and I couldn't move them but it'll be all right there's one there's one little ripple there but it'll be fine all right now very very light torch I don't want to melt your plastic, obviously. I've got this on low. I'll leave it like that. <laughs> I'm too chicken. I don't want to like melt my plastic and then oh, can you imagine if all this resin just ran everywhere? Oh my god, what a mess. <gasps> Alright, now do I do I want to do I want to kind of break that up a bit? A little bit. I guess I might have a little bit too much of the the red, but I don't know. Look, I only did half a cup. It's not like I did a lot. Just kind of blend the edges. I only did half a cup of the red, three quarters of a cup of the orange, and then a cup of the the yellow. The resin will move and do its own thing. All right, so basically that's it for now. Um, get my gloves off. I've used these a few times, so I'll get rid of them. All right, so that's it. Uh, I'm going to wait an hour and a half. I'm going to come back and check it after an hour. I'm going to set my alarm for one hour, and um, I'm going to come back. Because last time I waited until I could touch it, and it didn't stick to me, but I think that was too long. So anyway, it's different with every resin, you see. So what I, what I do for mine might not be the same for what you do for yours. If it's a different brand. If... So anyway, <laughs> I'll stop yabbering. I'll be back in about an hour and a half and um, I'll drape it. Righto guys, so it's been an hour and a half. I can touch the centre. See it still leaves a bit of a, a sticky, I don't know, thread I guess um, in the middle and still leaves a sticky thread on the side so oh I don't know see this is where I always get stuck I think oh do I leave it um, and then see, if I touch it really quickly it's not sticking to me it's leaving a fingerprint though so the other times when I've done this I've left it too long and it hasn't dripped so it's look it's probably going to be too sticky and it's going to just drip everywhere but I need to work out how it's going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to put down my silicone sheet so that it can drip 
onto that. Just bear with me one sec while I put this down. There we go. Tricky on my own. Need another pair of hands. Because if it is going to drip and it's going to hit the bench, I don't, I don't want it all over my bench. I'd rather have it onto the silicone. So it's a big silicone mat, that one. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I have got my table leg that you've seen and I've just put a little bowl on top. Um, I'm thinking if it's going to be very drippy, I don't want it to be like too skinny at the top. So anyway, we shall see. All right, here we go. Um, now, I'm hoping that you'll be able to kind of see what I'm doing. I'm sorry if you can't, but I'm going to have to just do this. All right, so the first thing I need to do... <laughs> oh, gosh. Actually, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this off. If it's, if it's, um, if it's like that soft, I might not be able to get the silicone off. Hey, I might have to leave it. Let's see. Let's see if I can... I don't even know how I to get it off. Because if it's that sticky... Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to have to... I'm just going to... It is, it is very sticky, you guys. It's very sticky. Alright, I'm just going to... I'm going to do this. Peel that away. Um, let me just move this somewhere over here. So a little bit of the sil uh, a little bit of the resin did stick to that. Now I'm just going to try and get the that resin off my gloves. So yeah, you saw it was very sticky. <laughs> I don't know. We're just we're just going to try this, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this up under here. And then just oh gosh I need I need a hand I need a hand I need a hand I need somebody to help gosh oh my gosh oh gosh oh did I do it did I do it not too badly I was trying not to get the the plastic to um touch the the resin all right I need to just center this oh it's harder than you think. If I had someone here to help me, you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't be so hard. It wouldn't be so hard, but I don't. Okay, now I've just double-sided tape. Put double-sided tape on the top of the um, the bowl so that it would sort of my my table leg would kind of stick into the bowl, if you know what I mean. Now I'm just gonna. I'm worried about my bowl moving. Okay, I should have this on a lazy Susan so I can turn it. Just. Oh, I think it's dripping. I think it's dripping. I'll show. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. All right. I just need to get. I just need to get this all sorted first, and I'm gonna try not to have the pieces like overlapping too much because it's going to oh, see over there they're already look I'm just gonna have to yeah <laughs> oh gosh I was gonna say I was gonna try and keep them like apart like keep them away from each other but it's it's just gonna do what it wants to do okay I'm just gonna leave it let it do what it wants to do there's a bit of a bubble there Get out, bubble. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Can I risk popping that bubble? There we go. There was a bubble. I'll just fix that up. <laughs> I'm going to take you down and show you in a minute. Okay, I'm not going to even do that. Oh my gosh, you guys! Oh my gosh! Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm gonna get my gloves off. I've got, I've got to show you. I've got to show you. 
I'm, I'm, I'm beyond excited, you guys. Now, I know that it's going to kind of all intermingle with, you know, the plastic. I don't think it's going to... You know how normally when you do a, a bowl, um, you can kind of separate the folds? Um, I guess I could, but look, it's dripping, it's dripping. Look, there's a bubble there, in there, in, oops, in there. Must have been a bubble on the edge. Look, you guys, it's dripping. Oh my gosh, I'm beyond excited. See, there's the red there on the top, and then we're going orange, and we're going yellow. I wonder how far it's going to actually drop. But see how this, see how it's... See how it's kind of... I'm going to see if I can, like, get them to open up a little bit, maybe. Because I don't want... I don't want this bit touching that bit. So anyway, I'm going to have a little play with it and see if I can just open up a few little sections. See this one here, this one's getting really close to the one next to it. So I'm going to put some little, um, maybe cotton balls or something like that in there to try and keep them apart. So I will see you shortly once I've done that. Okay, guys. <laughs> so I, I've been struggling a little bit. Um, <laughs> and look, I am by no means an expert at a drip pour. You've seen me struggle with the other two, let them set up too much. And then this one, um, as you can see, it's dripped a lot. Uh, so <laughs> I think it was too sticky when I took it off. Too sticky. But hopefully... Hopefully we can get something nice out of it. So there's blobs of resin on the mat there. Looks like honey, doesn't it? Mmm, yummy. So, I really like the, the way the red has gone into the orange and gone into the yellow. So really happy with that. I think the other thing that I need to do is because it was so wet, the folds folded in on each other so I think what I need to do next time is actually lay a piece of plastic over my bowl this bowl here and then drape this over it so that it, the folds don't like squish in too much because I've got a couple of areas where it's actually um, like the the plastic has has touched there but anyway we shall see I'm going to go around the other side of the table the other side so anyway um, we'll just have to wait and see see what happens but yeah I've <laughs> I've learnt a bit from this one so um, yeah I'll wait a little bit longer so it's not so sticky there's my poor little ring I'll just leave it there and then once it's once it's cured I'll be able to peel that off but yeah it's it was too sticky all right too sticky anyway <laughs> I'll um I'll take it off tomorrow anyway and we'll see what it looks like but definitely going again with this one because I love these colors and I am going to do this until I get it you guys so bear with me we will we'll learn along the way together it's set. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So excited. I haven't even stopped to have my coffee yet. All right, let's do this. I turn it sideways. And I'll hold on to it and I'll take my little. Oops. Take that out. That was that double sided tape I was telling you about, just so that it would hold. Hold in place there. There's my bowl. And that's what the top looks like. I just put tape over it because it had a bit of a ridge onto it there. Just so that, um, yeah, it'd be easier to use. Now, look at this. Oh, look at it. Now, um, last night, before it had totally set up, I came along and... Um, with my scissors just kind of uh, 
neatened it up a little bit if I saw a, a little piece that was gone astray um, I just sort of peeled it off or you know rounded it if, if, if it was looking a bit weird like if another little like a little drip the tiny little drip was off there I just kind of snipped it off didn't do much just just tidied it up really so I don't think when I when I draped it oops it's rolling away when I draped it I don't think it was even I think it was like more on one side than the other because then I only had a little bit on the side which in hindsight is good because it can be the front all right now without further ado let's get the plastic off I don't know if it's going to have a very flat bottom probably should have put it'll be flat enough to sit up but I probably should have um, when I had that when I had it draped over I probably should have put something like a piece of plastic over it um, and then something flat like a, a bit of wood or something um, just so that it would have a flat bottom I wasn't thinking about that at the time I was thinking about everything else that I had to think about hopefully the plastic will come out okay I just oh, I'm so happy with it I, I there was a stage there I thought oh, I'm gonna scrap this I'm not even gonna show you the video because it's not working um, <laughs> Um, and now, and now, look, <laughs> look, 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 <gasps> wow, it's quite heavy, <laughs> like, you wouldn't think it would be so heavy, I used like 750 grams or 700 grams, I guess by the time some dripped off it was 700 grams, but um, let's, let's go in for a closer look, shall we, so, there's the edges, love how the the color changes a little bit of the orange has dripped into this one look at that and and this one here but mainly they're all mainly they're all yellow you can see there how i don't know if you can see can you see how this this side is like lower there i've got well i've got one low one there and then it's higher there so i guess this would be the front what do you think of it? <laughs> what do you think? And then we've got the, the darker area there on the bottom. But yeah, this is where my plastic was lopsided and it kind of all dripped that way and didn't really drip much this way. I didn't realize until later and then it was too late to kind of straighten the plastic again. But uh, yeah, it's it's harder than you think. Well, maybe for one person anyway. I guess if you'd had help, um, you know, lifting the plastic and things like that over the top of your, your stand to drape it, it would have been easier. But for me, <laughs> it was a little bit tricky doing it just on my own. So there we go. Love it, love it, love it. I'll set it up for a photo shoot shortly. But um, now I can go and have a coffee because it's unmolded and I love it. Oh my gosh. Now if you wanted to do a like you know a sculpture, you could certainly put another one in the center um, and have like a really long one, you know that that would be such a eye-catching piece, wouldn't it? If you had a long thin one that sort of came out to about here, wouldn't that be amazing? Certainly would be a sculpture then, wouldn't it? An actual piece of art, not just a, a bowl because these are more sculptural, you know, you're not gonna put fruit in it, are you? It's just a piece of art that you can put on your on your table. A real talking point. Look at the colour variations there. It's just amazing. I love it. So happy with it. So happy. And of course they're never what you expect, but I love it nevertheless. Alright, thank you so much for watching. And um definitely we'll do this again. Let me know what colors you would like to see i still would like to do another one of these but a really really deep red like maybe a burgundy i think would look really pretty and let me know if you think i should do another one to put inside or just move on and do another one separate to this <laughs> i love those little rounded bits there curved look look it's so cute so textural so sculptural all right Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.